Look, I figure there is every reason why I will never hear from you again. So that's why I came back here. Just to say that I don't do this come after guys, not like some regular habit or whatever. So I thought you should know that. Hey. I'm sitting here thinking, I hope this meeting goes well. And Richard has already cast me in like five different things. So if it goes, I'll get two. But don't make this about that. Just be supportive and excited at first. But this whole time you already, I mean, you could have at least had the decency to wait. I mean, even if you were planning it in your head, you could have at least let me realize that you were slipping away so that I couldn't been prepared for that. I mean, you know the issues I have with men abandoning me because of my dad. Wait, what? Did you sleep with Gussie? I love you, Beth. Did you want that life so bad that you went off with her? I'll always love you. But did you? Why are our parents so obsessed with who they want us to be? I know, right? I guess not everyone is going to understand. You do. Besides, it's not like anyone knows who they are anyway. If you don't want to be friends, we don't have to be friends. I mean, it's a little weird considering you know my entire life story, including how I begged my mom to take me to see Taylor Swift in concert, which was a personal low. To be fair, you were 10. I don't not want to be friends. And I'm the same person, I'm just... You don't have to explain. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I literally just came in here to pound some Pringles to get through the rest of the day.